Hello, I'm Leanne Spar. In this section, we will discuss sinking funds. The specific topics we will cover are, we will understand the basics of a sinking fund, and we will set up a sinking fund table. Let's begin by defining a sinking fund and working a problem involving sinking funds. A sinking fund is a fund set up to receive periodic payments, either to provide money to pay off a loan in a lump sum or to accumulate money to make a purchase. Here is the values of the payments into a sinking fund table. I know you can't read these very well, but we have the interest rates across the top going from 1 to 12, and we have the number of periods going down the columns on the outside from 1 to 50. We will use this table in order to find the periodic payment into a sinking fund. Now let's do a problem involving a sinking fund. The owner of Emerald Diving plans to buy all new scuba diving equipment to rent to divers in five years at a cost of $34,000. He believes that he can earn 8% compounded quarterly. Find A, the amount of each of the quarterly payments needed, and B, the total interest earned. First, we need to find the interest rate per period. So I will be 8% quarterly. That value is 2% per period. And we need to find the number of payments. So N will be five years of quarterly payments, which will be 20 payments. In order to find the quarterly payment, we're going to have to consult our sinking fund table. We will look in the column headed 2% and we'll go down until we find 20 periods in that row. And this value is 0 0.04116. So to find the quarterly payment, We multiply the $34,000 he needs times the value from the table, which is 0 0.04116, to obtain $1,399.44. So we see that if he makes quarterly payments of $1,399.44 every quarter for five years into an account paying 8% compounded quarterly, he will have the needed $34,000. Now, let's determine the interest that will be earned on the account. We first need to find the total payments, which will be 20 payments times $1,399.44. So the total payments amount to $27,988 and 80 cents. The interest then will be the difference between $34,000 and the payments which are $27,988 and 80 cents, which is $6,011.20. Now let's prepare a sinking fund table. Jeff Reschke bought a rare stamp for his collection. He agreed to pay a lump sum of $4,000 after five years. Until then, he pays 6% simple interest every six months. Reschke sets up a sinking fund so that money will be present to pay off the $4,000. He wants to make annual payments into the fund. The account pays 8% compounded annually. Find the amount of each payment into the fund. First, we're going to use the table in order to find the amount of each payment into the fund. The interest rate per period is 8% compounded annually, and the number of periods is 5 because it's 5 years. So in order to find the payment, we consult the payment into a sinking fund table. We go across the top column until we find 8%. We go down until we find the row that has five periods, and we find that number to be 0 0.17046. 
So the payment into the sinking fund will be $4,000 times .17046, which is $681.84 is the payment into the sinking fund. Now, the only thing that we are concerned about is setting up the $4,000 in five years by making annual payments of $681.84. So what we want to do now is we want to prepare a sinking fund table that will accumulate the $4,000 with interest and payments in five years. You will see that I have prepared the sinking fund table for you here. In year number one, the amount of the deposit is $681.84. The interest earned is none, so the total in the account at the end of the first year is $681.84. In the second year, there's a deposit made of $681.84. The interest earned is 8% times $681.84. The interest is $54.55. So the total in the account is $681.84 plus $681.84 plus $54.55, which is $1,418.23. The next year, the deposit is $681.84. The interest earned is $1,418.23 times 8%, which is $113.46. So the total in the account at the end of the third year is $1,418.23 plus the $681.84 payment plus the $113.46, which gives us at the end of the third year a total of $2,213.53. The fourth year, a deposit is made of $681.84. The $177.08 is the interest on $2,213.53. That's $2,213.53 multiplied times 8%. And at the end of the fourth year, we have $2,213.53 plus $681.84 plus $177.08, giving us $3,072.45. So the fifth year, a payment is made of $681.75. Why is the payment $681.75? The reason is because the total in the account was $3,072.45. $3,072.45 times 8% gives us interest in the amount of $245.80. So $3,072.45 plus $245.80 gives us $3,318.25. So we see that the last payment is only the amount needed to take us up to a total of $4,000, which is $600. $81.75, such that at the end of the fifth year, we have a total of $4,000 in the account. In this section, we have discussed sinking funds. You may be in a position someday that you want to accumulate a certain amount of money by making equal periodic payments. So get busy working on these exercises so you will be able to do that when you want to set up your sinking fund for yourself.